Good day everyone. Today's video is going to cover how to read code data in Microsoft Excel using the switch formula. As the name implies, we want to switch the values, be it text or string, to numeric or numeric to a text string. This is oftentimes what I use it for, so I'm going to cover an example related to that. The data set you see in front of you is from an old project using some of our American Terrorism Study data, so domestic terrorism in the U.S trimmed it down. This was for conjunctive analysis project that we're working on in, in relation to RTM. With that though, we have some of the fields here that you might want to recode for analyses and for that you need numeric values. The one we're going to focus on today is going to be our incident success. So we might want to recode this, do some type of statistical modeling. We can change this as an outcome event to a dichotomous, was it successful or not? zero one and we can do it the likelihood of that and look at it that way with that though we would need to recode this and there's multiple ways to do this you can replace all that creates some headaches if you're not familiar with the more options functions within our replace and the switch one is relatively clean to work with and it's a good one to just be familiar with so with that the first step is to understand how many categories we actually have in our incident success column and as I cover this in another video, an easy way to do this without making a pivot table is just using the unique formula, highlighting the data field itself, close off the paran, come back, and we see that we actually have three different ones. So we have partial success, successful, and unsuccessful. These we might want to recode into a 0, 1, 2, 3. If we want to get into specifically binary logistic regression, 0, 1, and that kind of thing. But for our purposes today, let's just do it partial success as zero, successful as one, and unsuccessful as two. Now let's go through the process of recoding this into numeric values, and then we'll take that same numeric value, then recode it back into our success here. With that, let's get into recode one. And for this, we're gonna use our switch, and I'm gonna zoom in a little so it's easier to see. I say that and it's not moving in. I have that open, there we go. So we get into switch. We wanna switch our value here. So F2 where it has our first partial success. And I need to tell Excel to grab this since it's a stream text field, I had to put it in quotations, partial success. So when it sees this, it knows what to do with it. So I want it to grab this value when it sees that. I want it to give me a zero. The second part would be then our successful ones. So I need to put that in quotes as well. Close it off. And when I see successful, I want to get a one. And the last one, unsuccessful. Oops, almost forgot the quote. I want to get the two. So I close this off. Partial success will give me a zero. Successful one, unsuccessful two hit enter. And you can see here it did our zero for us for like we wanted. If I copy that down, you can see as we go down, and these are already just in order, made it a bit easier for us in this example, we can see zero ones and twos across those three categories. We can do a similar part here if you wanted to look at the subcategory types or whip weapon types, target type, incident type. All of these could be recategorized into numeric values. With that, since we have numeric values now, let's get into our recode two, and let's make this a binary one to where is it successful or not? So now we wanna group partial success and successful into one category. We're gonna call those one, and we're gonna do unsuccessful as zero. So we're chain, or our unsuccessful are gonna be separate. So we're gonna recode this into a binary predictor here. So here, we're still switching our values. This time I wanna take our zero, and I want it to give us, and this we're gonna put the zero there. The result is going to be, in quotes, success. Next one is going to be one, is still successful. Then our two here is actually unsuccessful. So all I did in this part is I changed 
this into a binary outcome. So I switched this based on our values here. So as I scroll down, we'll see it changes it unsuccessful back to what it was, but I can switch our values to what we want it to read on. So now I have, and then recode one, I gave each one a specific unique numeric value. So an example of taking a text string field, giving it a numeric value, you can use this, you can copy and paste to where it's values only, and then you can use it in some type of regression or other outcome type analysis you wanna look at. And then from this field, I took it and then dichotomized it into was it successful or not. Here I combine partial success and successful into one category of success. And then from there, I left unsuccessful by itself. So now it's a dichotomous, what we use as an outcome for some of our work in the past. So this one, I am a big fan of this switch. It's just an easy way to recode data. Depending on what you're trying to do, I've used it from the output from conjunctive analysis. Instead of using the search and replace all, this one makes it a bit easier. It's cleaner to use. So with that, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but this is a good formula to get in the index or your tool belt to be familiar with. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time, bye.